Hey, I uh, just went to make this quick tutorial because I've been having troubles making this and I didn't find anything on YouTube that actually worked. So yeah, let me just show you what I did. I was trying to create a script to move this platform uh, and I could stand on it and move around, but it was not working. So I created this script, let me show you. Uh, let me create it with you so you can see. I'll call it Simple Platform Tutorial. This is my current script, it's working. But I'll create a new one. Okay, let's start by creating some variables. Serializable field, float, speed. Serializable field, transform, start point. Point, endpoint, serializable field, float, change direction, delay, private, transform, destination, target, depart, target. Uh, you also want this to be serializable. No, 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 you don't. Sorry, never mind. You also need a private float start time and a private float journey length. Also, bool uh, is waiting. Okay, and now on the start script, let's start creating it. Our departs target is equal to our start point and our destination target is equal to our end point start time equals time dot time and journey length is equal to vector tree dot distance Depart target dot position, destination target dot position. Now that you set our parameters on the start, let's move on to the update. We'll call our move function. I mean move function. Let's create it down here. Private void move. And now we are going to move our platform here. So, if is not waiting, and if vector tree dot distance transform dot position, comma destination target dot position is greater than zero point zero one, you can adjust this if it it's not working. This works fine for me. Zero point zero one. Float distance covered equals time dot time minus start time times our speed float fraction of journey equals a distance covered divided by journey length and transform dot position now we move it vector t dot lerp depart target dot position destination target dot position uh, fraction of journey yeah that looks fine else waiting i mean is waiting equals true because we arrived at our destination and we start a coroutine called change delay change delay let's create that enumerator down here so 
enumerator change delay we wait for our wait for seconds our change direction delay that we choose we change the destination let's create that function up here void change destination here we just flip our destination so it the platform goes one way and another so depart target if it's equal to endpoint and our destination target is equal to our start point we flip those so depart target dot start point and destination target is equal to our endpoint else we flip them the other way around so here is a start point and here is the endpoint like so let's keep moving so have a typo here destination okay it's fine now uh, start time is equal to time dot time our journey length is equal to vector tree dot distance depart target dot position destination target dot position and finally waiting equals false and that looks fine now let's go to unity and set this up so our speed let's say 3 when it arrives at the destination it waits 2 seconds and then it comes the other way and now we need to create two transforms I already created them here I called it start and end please make sure that they are not a child of the transform otherwise it doesn't work so this is the object they are not inside make sure of that otherwise it really doesn't work so drag the start to the start point the start is here, so we want the platform to start here and the end is on the other way, so we want it to end here we just drag it, you can drag it, place it wherever you want uh, let me just move it there so end to the end point now if we start our game we can see that the platform moves when it reaches the end, it waits two seconds, like we chose. Uh, it was not coming back. Let me check the script. Yeah, sorry, the problem was was here. I I checked it, and the else, this else is inside this if, like so. So the Coroutine was never being called, so make sure you fix that. The script should look like this. So if you play it now. You can see that the platform. You can see that the platform reaches the end waits two seconds and comes but here's the issue I was having if you stand on it when it starts moving your player doesn't go with it it just falls down so we need to fix that so open your script again and at the end let's add two functions void on trigger exit Collider other 
if other dot game object dot tag equals to player other dot transform dot parent equals null and we do the same but for enter like so and here instead of null you write transform now you need to make sure that the player you make sure that the player has the tag player otherwise it doesn't work after you make sure that it has the tag player go to the platform and uh, you need to add a new collider that is trigger and is slightly above the ground I don't know if you can see it but it's right here so it can detect when the player enters it so make sure you have that otherwise it doesn't work so when a lot of tutorials tell you to do that but you might get some issues where the player kinda teleports around or it might just fall again to fix that you need to go to the update function and write fix update if you now try that you can see that the player moves around just fine there's no issue whatsoever so yeah i just wanted to make this quick tutorial because i couldn't find any solution online and i was struggling with, with this for the last two days so yeah i hope it helps you i'll show you the script once more this is the full script and make sure that the player has a tag player and on the platform you, you have a box collider that is trigger so it can detect when the player enters it so yeah that was all see you on the next video